You're gonna arrest me. Will you arrest me? Will you arrest me? Answer my question, servant. Will you arrest me if I go on there? Where does it say? Where does it say restricted access or authorized personnel only or no trespassing? For the people, we don't work for you. Exactly. And you walked up to me. I didn't stop you. I was trying to ask you a question. You wouldn't even roll down your window. You just put up your blind to block me. Well, that's a little bit personal. Can't answer personal questions. No, the only reason is because we we did receive a call about uh, guys with masks. Shout out Angry Vet Audits. Got you. Never like those guys. Part of the police. Your body cam off so my camera stays on. Crooked ass cops won't like this song. Gotta film the police when they do something wrong. I'ma film the police when they do something wrong. What's up, everyone? This is Angry Vet Audits, and I'm out here in Mendota, California with Anthony X. We start off the video outside the city hall with a Mendota police sergeant circling us in his SUV. We then head over to the Mendota Public Works, where an officer says if we go in, we'll get arrested. Stay tuned to see if we make it in or not. Mount up and get ready for the ride. We just saw the police and we came around the corner. Um, oh. Let's go. Staying at the stop sign there. We thought he could be sneaky. We, we ambushed him with our cameras. Yeah, we knew where he was going. AX1 called it. So guys, we were at the, or we're in Mendota, California. We're heading to the public works yard out here. I'm um, with Anthony X, and he, we just spotted the first uh, city truck pulling in here. All right, guys. I just want to point out that there is no sign saying uh, restricted access, authorized personnel only, or any no trespassing signs, as you can see on this gate here. Uh, let's go check the other side over here. So no signs over here, only no tractor trailers. Uh, we got some PD rolling down this road. It almost looks like it might be CHP with the white top. I forget if the vehicles have the white top around here. Looks like a CHP vehicle. Oh, it is Mendota Police. The guy who was uh, in the vehicle that we saw drive in. He just stuck back. Uh, he leaned right there just to take a little peek at us. Guys, okay, so we're just seeing if a uh, police circle back around. We want to. See what kind of if they're, you know, tracking two guys with the camera or whatever. 
but uh, we plan to go inside here to this public works yard to go do some re records requests on how many people employees are working at this building. Uh, I'm sure they have an office here, a little office here somewhere. Or one of them employees could take our request. There we go, we have uh, someone turning in right here. Here comes the police, like we predicted, uh, circling back. Here. All right, if you hold your word, hold your word. Maybe he's dropping that off. Just stuff in there. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, man? Sorry. Will you arrest me if I go in here? Is my question. Answer my okay. question. Sir. Will you arrest me? I'm not gonna. Will you arrest I'm me? I'm not gonna Will I be breaking the law if I walk in this public yes. city owned property? It's city owned. Property. There's a sign right there. There's nothing saying restricted. Most I know. Most but still, public works have areas where you can go to a to a lobby. Why are you why are you trying to impede on my rights? I was trying to mind my own business, but when you start trying to impede well, on my rights. First of all, right now you blocked me. No, you no, right. you're blocking listen, right listen. there, sir. You don't did, even have your emergency license. Did you get a you call get for service out here? Well, I'm not detaining anyone. I'm only blocking if someone's trying to get by and I prevent them. This is well, what you call a. Can we talk here? I don't sir, want to get hit by this you. is what's called a right away. I can pass by here all day long till you go well, home. Maybe that's a right away? This is a right away. No, this is. This is a right away. So when you walk by someone's house on the sidewalk and they have a driveway, are you saying you're not allowed to go past them? No, I can't, are you saying I can't walk the right there? Sir, again, sir, I'm just asking you a simple, no, a simple sir, question, I yes or no? Will I be arrested if I go on this public property? I'm not, not allowed to go there. Will I be arrested? Who said I can't, I'm not allowed? Just you or who said that? I'm going to have my Do you son. have the city manager say that? Well, you kind of, no one is allowed to go I don't there. think Silva either would be happy with this. Who? I don't think the city manager or mayor would be happy knowing how you're treating citizen journalists. Well, we're just trying to figure out what's going on, you know. I just need to know one simple question. It's yes or no, and if you're not sure, call the supervisor and ask, or the city attorney, will I be arrested if I walk in here in the public areas and don't go in any restricted areas? It's a yes or no question. Okay, if let you me can't answer, ask someone. Let me, let me supervise. Before you guys make a mistake and I put you on the lawsuit, find out. Because if you're not under threat of arrest, I will be walking around in there. Guys, look at this. Blocking the, the street without his damn lights on. Put your lights on. You're saying I'm blocking right here. You seen the cars coming, guys? Who am I blocking? Give 
Alright guys, let's go live in case they try to violate our rights. In case they try to steal my property or impede on my infringe on my rights. You can't make up rules as you go. Can I ask you a question? Uh, did you get a call? Maybe. Yeah. Can I have the call number, question. please? I did get a call. Can I have the call number, please? Look, I'm being polite with you. What's your name and badge uh, number? I don't think you're friends. Even if we're not. It doesn't public, matter. Hey. Public record. You work for me. Hey. When a citizen asks you for You like that You want to fucking see him polite? Mother I was being polite to you. I was asking you respectfully for the call number and, and you're going to say that you're not going to give it to me because your little he was hurt because of what he said you you're just mad because i questioned you and you wouldn't you didn't want to give me an answer if you would have answered me from the get-go or didn't want to impede on my rights it would have been a different outcome i would have been super cordial with you but when you say i can't go somewhere restricting my movement and my first amendment right we're playing a different game Before this calls over, I expect a call number from you. I'm gonna follow you on there unless you're gonna arrest me. Don't, do not come Will you arrest me? Don't come Will you arrest me? Don't come Answer my question, servant. Will you arrest me if I go on there? Where does it say? Where does it say restricted access or my, authorized personnel only or no trespassing? I'm not gonna back up. Force me. Here's my hand. You want to arrest me? I'm not gonna touch you. I'm not here to hurt you. But you can't tell me where to stand. I'm five feet away from you. I'm not going to put this in your face just so you know. I'm not here to harm you. But you cannot come. Why? Because you said so? So if you say I can't walk down the street, if I can't practice a certain religion or wear a certain color t-shirt, does that mean I got to listen to you? Why can't I come in here? What gave you that, that, that idea? Because you see the fence. It's not meant to You see the gate you that's You see open? the wide open fence right here? Yeah, I see that. Employees. That's it. Where does it say that? Doesn't say it says public works yard. What if I want to do it? It doesn't public say authorized personnel only. It doesn't say no trespassing. I was planning on doing public records in there. I have a right to those public records. And then you want to be a f and not give me a, a call number. Is that the chief? Because you want to, you know, your little f he's hurt. Hey, Elder. All right. I'm going to start off fresh with you because you approach us cordially and respectful. This guy is impeding our First Amendment, my movement. He's saying I'm not allowed to go in a public area where there's no restricted signs. I do this all over in three different states. Mm -hmm. I've been to many public works departments where a lot of them, you can go into certain areas, but then at some point they will have restricted signs saying no one passed that point. There's nothing here saying restricted public works. There's a sign up there saying city of, you know, that it belongs to the city. Yeah. I have a right to be in there. He, and he won't answer my question. It's a yes or no question, and maybe you can help me. And I'm sorry if I'm a little loud. He got me upset. I apologize if you're being, you've been cordial. And this is a yes or no question. Will I be arrested if I walk in the public area? I'm not talking about going in any restricted areas or tampering with any of the vehicles. I'm not here to sit cameras in people's faces, but I would like to walk around the public area of the public property. So yes or no question. Maybe you can get it from the chief over there. Will I be arrested if I, if it's under threat of arrest, I won't go in there. But you guys will be exposed for violating my rights. So, can you answer that question? Or do you have to wait for the chief? Well, if it's a public area, you can walk. Through. I can walk through here. You heard him. If it was locked and secured, then you can't go. In. Yeah, it's not. I don't want to shake, but I appreciate it, my man. Appreciate it. Uh, can I get that call number? Sure. You want right. the event number? Huh? You want the event, event number? Yeah, whatever you call. Yeah. All right. Hey, you might I get your name and badge number? Uh, Alright, thank you. Thank you for respecting our rights. I'm like this shit over here. I ask him for a simple uh, event number and he wants to say, I'm not giving it to you because his feelings were hurt. He didn't like the way Anthony X was talking. Uh, I was very polite with him at first. I'm going to step away from the vehicle. It's very noisy there. What's up, guys? What's up, Frank? Uh, Frank Evans, 831. Good to see you out here. We're just out in Madera, California. We're going to the public works yard.
get this uh, event number right here. What's up, Michael Reed? Now, this guy looks pretty slow. I'm going to go check out the public works yard real quick. What's going on down here? So they didn't want to let us in here, uh, that first officer. There's the, uh, there wasn't any no trespassing signs or no unauthorized access. I said we'd be trespassing arrested. It's pretty warm out here. What's up, a veterans affair? I want to say it's like 90s or something. Who's that, the sergeant? He didn't want to answer any questions, so I tried asking him a question. He didn't want to help me. Oh, okay. You learned something today? Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. Sorry if I came off a little hard. I was just a little upset. I do wish you had left today. I don't know if you're or anything. Yeah, I didn't get your uh, name and badge number. To... Yeah, go. R111. R111? All right, thank you. So I'm just curious, how come he was aware that we're allowed to walk in the public areas and you weren't? Just a new learning experience? Let me know. It happens. That's how you learn. We all learn. I'm learning every day. You're learning every day. I'm just curious. And listen, you're not blocking an entryway if there's no vehicles coming, all right? Okay. So don't so don't pull that crap. Yeah. All right? And you don't even have you didn't even have your emergency lights on, but you were, you know, parked on the side. You know, why not put your emergency lights on just to be safe for the sake of argument? You know, I mean it's daylight, people can see, but you never know. Mm -hmm. Someone driving distracted on their phone, you know, even though it's their fault for driving distracted, and they, they don't see it because your lights aren't on, I mean, boom. You know. Did you get the sergeant's name and badge on it? Sergeant, your convenience, do you have a business card? I do not. Could you write down your name and put official no. position? I'm sorry, what's that? I can barely hear you. I was just... That's because my officers are contacting you. Gotcha. Yeah, but I'm asking you if I can get your name and a badge written down something. Can you do me a favor and write it down? I can't hear. I got bad hearing. So, as you can see, uh, Sergeant there doesn't have a name tag. I don't know if it's the uh, Mendota Police Department policy or not. But most police departments have some sort of name badge policy. Um, gonna get his name right here thank you thank you so sergeant user r134 all right guys so sergeant does, doesn't seem to have good people skills this guy's well he's not bad he just didn't know any better that guy came up very cordial i want to see that guy with the stripes in the future. I want to see that guy training these guys. That guy's a good guy. Don't keep him on your team. Don't let him go. You may think it's funny, but part of your job is, is customer service in a sense. You work for the people. We don't work for you. Exactly. And you walked up to me. I didn't stop you. I was trying to ask you a question. You wouldn't even roll down your window. You just put up your blind to block me. That's my officers are dealing with you. I don't need to. Well, Sergeant... I'm trying to talk to you when a member of the public ask you a question or want service from you that we pay but how do you know i'm not dealing with use your right mouth now. that we pay you to use and answer the damn question how do you know i'm not on another call right well, now we'll you go are... down to the police station and see if you are on another call right now all right you're obviously on the scene here well, don't be a smart well, you're being an idiot you're making yourself look stupid you're obviously here for this you call have the opportunity to shine all right like a star, but you're melting like a snowflake right now so if you want to join us down at the police yeah, station, we'll be down there. We don't need three officers for two guys with cameras. I'm not going to jump on the building. I'm a big guy. I couldn't even if I tried. I don't have any weapons. I'm just peacefully recording. I'm not going to go in restricted areas. I'm not going to tamper with vehicles or equipment. You can get back to work anytime. You're dismissed. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to walk in the back because they got cameras in the front.
that. We're not here to bother you. We're just doing some shots, brother. I don't know if you called the PD or who did. You know, we were just trying to get some shots and B-roll footage and be on our way. Much respect to you. I know it's you know hot in here. Oh, I got doing a fan. Your, but you got a fan, nice. Just getting a little sweat out today. Yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate all the work you do, though, just so you know. Thank you. And you, like, seriously, I would like to see you in down the road. You know, if you stay stick with the department, whether it's here or somewhere else, I'd, I'd love to see you in a supervising type role or training type position. I've been doing this for a long time. And you can train people how to do a lot of stuff. How do you know? grind or weld, fix things, how to, uh, you know, just do whatever, but you can't train someone's attitude. you got the attitude. I'm currently a field training officer. Are you? Nice. That's yeah. perfect. So hopefully, hopefully they learn something from it. Because he, he came up right from the get-go. He was like, oh, you can't, you know, he didn't say we're detained, but he was getting a bit aggressive. If he would have just been like, hey, how's it going? I'm officer so-and-so with the, you know, PD. Hey, can I speak to you? And whether we do or not, respect our decision, but immediately telling us we're, we can't go in somewhere. But then when I asked him a simple question, I was just, it was a simple question. Will we get arrested if we go in here? He wouldn't answer. So eventually after asking him like a dozen times, I'm like, well, if you can't answer that, I understand. That's fine. Don't give me an answer that you're not sure of, but call your sergeant, call the city mayor, call the, the manager, you know, or call the city attorney, call someone. But just saying we can't go somewhere because that doesn't cut it, you know, on there. You know, and again, if there was restricted signs out here, you know, saying no trust, trespassing, that'd be different. Because we go to a lot of public works, and everyone's has, you know, this one has a different setup than you. I'm sure you know a lot of them, but most public works that I've been to, they usually have a little office somewhere on the property that is open to the public, so you can't actually go on the property. But then they'll have signs like at the edge of the building, for example, that say, "Oh, restricted access past that point." So I couldn't go all the way through the whole property, but I might be able to go up to like a little office or something, you know, yeah. on there. So that's what we were doing, you know. No foul, you know, no ill will, you know, we didn't come here to cause trouble. Because, you know, one thing that I guess is good, I hope that you guys respond this fast when there's real emergencies, but you guys, you're, the first officer was here within two minutes. Oh, just... It felt like two minutes. So just, I have a question. Did you guys go by our city hall? Well, I, that's a little bit personal. Yeah, I can't that's answer our personal those. questions. No, but... the only reason is because yeah. we we did receive a call about uh, guys with masks on. Okay. Uh -oh. So I just... Like these kind of masks or were they... Well, uh, they just said masks and they were asking okay. questions or videotaping. Gotcha. So it kind of matches what you guys are. And that's probably why the officer res uh, responded, contacting you right. like he did. He didn't know what you guys intended. What was the call? If you don't, was it like was it something? It was, they just didn't know. It was uh, miscellaneous. Okay. Was, they didn't know what was going on. They gotcha. just said some people came in there with masks and video and phones and started recording. I mean, you know, I, and I get COVID's over, but I mean, there was a good couple of years when everyone was wearing masks. You know, I can understand. If, you know, it's 100 degrees. I have a ski mask, a Kevlar vest, and I'm hiding up in the bushes. That might be suspicious. Not illegal, but it's suspicious. But just walking around in the public areas, you know, I'm not, that wasn't us. I'm just saying. But if it was, yeah, no, you, know. like you you can kind of understand where, from our viewpoint, of why we would contact you guys because you guys kind of match the descriptions. Gotcha. That's a, so. So there's should, there's, there's two people that were there described like us. There were two people. Uh, are they still there? Or? No, they left. Oh, okay. So there were two people wearing masks, having their phones out, and asking questions, and then they left almost as fast as they came in. Gotcha, gotcha. So okay. that's what our call was, and then he saw you guys over here. Gotcha. So. By any chance, um, could you give me that call number for that one? For that one? If you have, unless you guys already closed it out. Well, he, he did give me like an event number. Is that he the... gave you the event for number this one. for this one? For this one? All right. So that means someone called for this one as well? No. Oh. This one was a random. Just from the contact? A random contact. Okay, I see. Uh, and glad to hear you're a training officer who knows a little bit about our rights. We were just in Seaside the other day, and uh, the training officer there had his training with them, uh, illegally detained us twice, and then he wanted to actually trespass us if, you know, the public employee's feelings were hurt or whatever. He was waiting on the phone call, you know, with no legal grounds. Luckily, the person who was on the phone with them, you know, told him not to do that. So uh, you're showing a... a greater skill set, a better knowledge of, you know, situational yeah, I'm just curious, I mean, do you guys have any intent in the near future, I don't know, with budgets allow? I haven't pulled up any records on salaries or what your annual budgets are or where it's going, but are you guys any have any thoughts of getting body cam in the yes, near future? Yes, we are in talks to get body cam. Gotcha. That's something, you know, me personally, I don't mind my tax dollars going to. It's all about transparency because it can, it, it can be good and bad. You know, if you do something wrong, hold you accountable at the same time. Let's say I, let's say I accused you of doing something wrong and could protect you as well. Yeah. You know, so. All right, well, you guys have any other All right. No, we're good. Yeah. I appreciate it. Take care. Yeah, appreciate the escalating. Take care, brother. Hey.
a quick question. Uh, how many people usually work here? Are you just like usually by yourself or just a couple other people? No, it's usually two of us here. Oh, uh, two? All right. Sounds you good. Have your equipment too. Oh, oh, yeah. you, you guys do it all, huh? <laughs> yeah. You guys at least get a taco truck that rolls by once a day? They're all around town. You got to go out there and look for them? They're all around town. Yeah, brother. Take care. All right. You guys have a good one. You too. Yeah, guys, it's a vertical. I mean, I don't go live too often, and I didn't know how to switch it. The cop was already here, so I uh, apologize for you guys uh, mentioning that you don't like this. So uh, when I get home tonight, I'll uh, try and look at it a little more. That way I'm ready for the next time. Now, are we safe to go? Or are you going to start following us and going zigzagging back and forth? Right, You're not going to start following us or harassing us? No, no, no. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so they tried to keep us out of this. Uh, I think you could see the sign there, Public Works Yard out here in Mendota, California. Yeah, that's a uh, cop with the glasses over there. And then his partner came up and uh, kind of gave him a little bit of education from doing something stupid. So we're just gonna wait over here until these cops leave and then I'll probably be ending this live stream. Uh, we already went inside, checked out the area. Here comes a sergeant's vehicle here. That'd be great. I appreciate it. Right. That, yeah, do we uh I can I can Google it. Uh, small town but uh thousand airport boulevards three blocks that way. Will, you, will we do a ride along too? Uh that I don't know. You'd have to ask. Some departments will do it if we do give them like a verbal uh you know, uh, waiver. Yeah, All right, appreciate it. All right. So the sergeant just said that the chief is expecting us for a ride along. I don't know I if that's. That a trick question, though, guys. I don't know if that's a trick. Like once we get in there. If we were already the ones that were there, but that when he, you notice when he said like, "Oh, you know where it is?" He was hoping to say, "Oh yeah, I did, we were just there." That's what he was doing. I don't know if I want to take that ride along, guys. Uh, I might just uh, throw us in a cell. Let's see where they're going. They're heading way down there. I don't even know what's down there. Quickly, just take off. Uh, yeah. You want to go to the police station or? I don't know. I want to go do something else. <laughs> I don't want to give him a chance to keep looking for us. Yeah. I think that was a trick question. That's what I think he was doing. Yeah, I think he's tricking. That sergeant is not. I almost felt he's definitely like, not on our side. That no. guy. He didn't even want to fucking give his name. They just want to get more info to see if they can pinpoint us. Yeah, for sure. They don't have body cams, so they have nothing to review later unless we go back there. But they might have the, the car vehicle cams or whatever. Check those out. Right? Oof. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, Going to try and make our way to the vehicle here. Uh, don't see any cops out here. Uh, no problem, King. It's kind of hard to see the screen right now. Later, maybe ground it. All right. I think it's clear. We're gonna head to the car. Uh, let, no problem, Jack. Okay, Stevenson. Yeah. Let's see. I don't really know how to close this. 
is that? Big Mike got it. What's up? Oh yeah? Let's go check it out. So we got a vehicle over here. The X1 says it's kind of eyeballing us. Let's check it out real quick. Let's see if it's an undercover or something. Uh, it looks like a civilian, possibly. Yeah, for sure. Probably just watching to show us all the cop cars. It's pretty hot out here today, guys. Uh, what's up, Bear? <laughs> Patty? Pattykins? Hi, Pattykins. Thank you, Jams. I think it's a good time. It is just a civilian in there. Anything slugging off duty? Nah. I just probably just saw the cup cars watching it.